remedies for fatty liver. I'm Dr. Sethi, I'm a liver specialist and I practice in the Silicon Valley. I focus on your liver health. So we are going to discuss about three things to avoid and then three things to consume in order to minimize uh, the fat in your liver and prevent the fatty liver to progress into uh, scarring, fibrosis and eventually cirrhosis of the liver. So three things to avoid. The top one would be avoiding sodas and juices. Both of these are empty calories. They wreak havoc on your liver, leading to fatty liver. I get asked this question a lot of times that is diet soda okay? My answer to that is that uh, these diet sodas have artificial sweeteners like aspartame, which can disrupt your delicate gut microbiome. So I would recommend uh, avoiding uh, sodas and juices. You could choose water, uh, sparkling water uh, as a replacement. So the second thing we should avoid if you're suffering from fatty liver is deep fried foods. So there's a saying called if we are deep frying, we are dying. So deep frying foods uh, should be avoided. If you still like to consume deep fried foods, I would recommend consuming the foods made in air fryer. So air fryer is a lesser evil as compared to deep oil frying. Make sure that when you use air fryer, you use high smoke point oils like avocado oil or ghee. The third thing which should be avoided to uh, minimize the fat in the liver is ultra processed foods. Things like chips, candies, sugary cereals, hot dogs and instant noodles. Uh, the sugary cereals, the, the generic kind, those are known to be cereal killers. And this is what goes in the mouths of millions of kids around the world as the first thing in the morning. So sugary cereals, we need to switch it with something healthy. All right, so three things to consume if you are suffering from fatty liver. The number one would be the beverages. And that would be black coffee, black tea, green tea, matcha. Make sure you don't overdo these. One to two cups a day is sufficient to get the health benefits of these beverages for the fatty liver. Um, do not add sugar. It is okay to add a touch of honey into your black coffee, tea or green tea. If you suffer from any sleep issues, you can consider going the decaf route. Uh, the decaf options also have plenty of antioxidants which are great for your liver. So feel free to use those. Second thing you should consider consuming if you have fatty liver is turmeric. Turmeric has a compound called curcumin which has anti-inflammatory potential. You can plan to consume half to one teaspoon of turmeric daily. Try to incorporate that into you know soups or uh, marinades. Make that a part of your routine. You can also uh, add that to yogurt if you like to eat yogurt um, every evening, which by the way, I love to do. Uh, yogurt has a lot of probiotics and when you add a touch of uh, uh, turmeric in it, um, that adds to the anti-inflammatory potential of yogurt. Uh, the third thing I would uh, uh, advise you to consider is um, consuming ginger because ginger has a compound called gingerol, which also has tons of anti-inflammatory properties. So try to consume ginger tea regularly. Um, just uh, cut half an inch of uh, ginger uh, root and you know you can boil it or you can just um, uh, steep it with boiling water and uh, consume it. Share this video with your loved ones. Uh, fatty liver is rising in prevalence all over the world and it is predicted that fatty liver is going to be the number one cause of liver transplants in the United States in the next five years. So please share this with your loved ones about the natural remedies they can use to minimize the fat in the liver and stop it from progressing into fibrosis and scarring and eventually cirrhosis and the need for liver transplants. All right, until the next video.